Now we're ready to create our finance dashboard. The dashboard design interface allows dashboard designers to simply take objects from the toolbox and drag them onto the workspace. We're going to take this rectangle and round off its corners and then change its fill to use a linear gradient with several gradient stops to help bring out the label and then give the background some color. To create the next rectangle we're simply going to copy and paste. Adding visualizations is the best part. Simply go to the top of the toolbox, select the KPI you want, and drag it onto the canvas. It's that simple. You can now also see that the default visualizations that we chose earlier for each of the KPIs are now being used. Now we can add a parameter or filter to the dashboard. Let's open up the parameter section in the sidebar and click on add new parameter. We'll call this one date range and have it affect the revenue and expenses KPIs and use the month filter for both. Let's limit the date range by default to 2009. This parameter is now available for us to drag onto the dashboard. We can also customize its granularity or level of detail at this point. Creating a legend for this bar graph is just a matter of dragging a legend from the toolbox onto the screen and then associating a bar chart with it. Finally, let's add some labels to the dashboard by dragging one onto the screen. We can change its properties in the properties grid and also enter in the text that we want. We're going to copy and paste this one over to the next rectangle and simply rename it. Lastly, we're just going to add a simple title to this dashboard and call it Sonatica. It looks like we're done. We can now check in and preview this dashboard. You can see the gross margin percentage for the most recent month shows that our margins are actually quite far into the negatives. You can also see this trend reflected in the revenue versus expenses bar chart which seems to show that we've actually been losing money since June 2009. You can also expand the date range say to 2008 to get a look at the last two years. There we have it, a simple dashboard with two data visualizations, a user selectable filter and some labels. To learn how to build the rest of this dashboard, please check out our dashboard design video which will go through our dashboard designer features in greater detail. I hope this video has given you a glimpse of the amazing possibilities with Dundas Dashboard. You can find out more about Dundas Dashboard by watching our tutorials, trying our online demo, or by downloading a full evaluation version, all available on www.dundas.com. Thanks for watching.